Welcome back to Milton Road Junction. As I mentioned in the last layout, I'm going to continue with the Heritage Yard at the same time as pondering what I'm going to do for that far end of the layout, the changes I intend to make. So anyway, back to the Heritage Yard. What I've done at the moment is I've made the embankment now out of Plaster of Paris, uh, a sort of Plaster of Paris mixture type mixture. Um, made the embankment ready to uh, put some scenery on it and some ballast um, waiting for it to dry at the moment then I need to clean up a little bit of the track what I have noticed is because I've um, put the coaling stage on a couple of layers of cardboard it's, it's made it rise up a bit it is now actually a little bit higher than it should be or should I say the the incline ramp is not as high as it should be. Um, it could do with being another quarter of an inch or so higher, but that would make it steeper as well. So I decided to leave it. And um, I don't think it's that noticeable when carriages are in there or when coal wagons are in there. As I say, it could only, it's only a matter of a quarter of an inch or so. So it gives the impression of what I was trying to achieve with um, a raised bank going up there so we'll leave it at that and uh, I'll come back when it's dried and I've done a bit more work on it just done the next stage which is basically to paint the um, the white plaster to just give it a bit of camouflage if anything shows through the greenery when I put it in so just done that and on the other side I've uh, removed all the diesels from the yard here so we now have a diesel fest in the station area everything's been moved across ready for demolishing this end still got to find somewhere for all the buildings and then I can start taking up some track and uh, start demolishing the, the actual woodwork so I'll show you my progress later carrying on with the heritage yard I've uh, put some scenery up the in ramp or the, the ramp now uh, it's going to be a ramp that doesn't particularly get used a lot so um, I've put quite a lot of greenery on the track uh, and at the heritage yard really it's pretty much for show uh, they occasionally, occasionally load locos from it but of course it doesn't get used as much as it would have done when it was a full working yard so uh, and as you can see along the end of that one there I've put a buffer with buffer light on and I've painted a bit of tarmac which is going to be the uh, workers car park um, not for the public It'll just be for the workers and where that little small card is there'll be a kiosk to pay there's some big gates across the front there uh, one for a, a vehicle gate and another one for uh, foot traffic and where the larger bit of paper is I'll have a old waiting room that's been converted into a cafe and toilet and uh, that's about it for the moment on that one and the other end I've now started to take the track up ready to do some work at this end as well so it's all progressing I'll show you a bit more later as you can see I've done a bit more work on the heritage yard mainly at this end um, where I've you can see I've put a fence all the way around it I've um, painted the fence a different colour just to make it sort of stand out a bit from the rest of the uh, railings around the uh, DMU maintenance. Obviously the backstory of this is all this good shed and uh, the engine sheds were British Rail and it was all linked together but when rented to the Heritage Railway uh, the heritage people put a separate fence up to keep it separate but there was one proviso that uh, British Rail 
or the depot people could use the car park which I've made sort of all around the back there and um, there's a fence between them but there's a gate where there's a there's a, a vehicle gate if need be which is very seldom used but the people working in the depot can use the car park and go through the little uh, um, personnel gate there to get to the work. I've put in a kiosk um, for uh, collecting the money and that's the waiting room but I'm going to turn it into a cafe and toilets. Uh, what else? That's about it really. I've put some more ballasting down. I'm not sure if it comes out on the photograph but the, the greenery is a little bit white at the moment because I've only just done it and the glue is still drying. So it shows a bit lighter than it will do. Um, that's about it for the time being. I haven't weathered anything, of course, the kiosk or anything like that yet. And um, just plodding on with it. haven't done anything at the other end at all. Still uh, thinking about what I'm going to do. I've pretty much worked it out, but it's just the uh, logistics now of how I can do it uh, and whether I can do it. So I'll keep working at that, but um, I'll come back to this a bit later. I've continued working on the um, heritage yard. I've done a bit more uh, foliage up there, <coughs> put in the signal box pretty much where I think it's going to go, and I may well put that uh, porter cabin there as well. I've got to do some more ballasting and uh, scenery around the rails. The only trouble is I'm waiting for some buffers to come. Uh, they're on back order and uh, I can't really do any more ballasting on the tracks until the uh, buffers are in because I want to get the buffers fitted before I ballast uh, and all, all wired in the lights in the buffers etc. So I may well uh, put this on hold for a little while and I'll put this video out now so that uh, it's not uh, too long to wait. Otherwise, I've got a fair bit more to do. I've got the scenery to do around the edge uh, of the um, turntable. I've got the concrete to do and all the workings inside the yard. I've got the fencing to go around that end and this side and the back scene. So there's a lot to do uh, and that'll pretty much make uh, quite a long video if I put it all in the same one. So I'm going to um, terminate this video now uh, and put it up to let you see how much I've done so far. Obviously when, when all the ballasting's done I've got to weather the track. I've also been pottering along with the uh, O-gauge. I've made four of these back scene boards and uh, painted them. There's only two up there at the moment and they're not joined. They're just in position to see where I want them. Um, so I may get on with that at the same time and do a bit more work on dismantling or a lot more work on the dismantling behind me and uh, I'll do another video and show you all I've done on that and hopefully including some more work on this heritage yard. So for now I'll call it a day and as I said so it'll be a long video otherwise uh, and I don't want to bore you with it. So for the time being, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you wish and your comments are always welcome. So bye for now.